For professional, knowledgeable real estate service you can count on, call the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team. For solid real estate information and advice you can trust, listen to the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show. Compliments to the show. You're really hitting on the subjects and you're telling the truth. I appreciate you. Now back to the show with broker owner and host, Dan Jemis. All right, Joyce, you've got the screen uh, and you've got the contest uh, app there. So you're going to press it. a button, see who wins the 50 bucks for the Richmond Popcorn Company. Who do you got? We have got Jennifer Robertson. All right, Jennifer, congratulations. Uh, winner for the Richmond Popcorn Company, uh, 50 bucks. There you go. Go spend it on some uh, some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Try Nikki's Caramel Corn. Uh, Oreo. There's Oreo, all the all the Christmas yes. flavors right now. Grinch Mix was the top seller in November. Yes, I saw that. What's in the Grinch Mix? Uh, it's white Lindor Lind, Lint chocolate, uh, milk chocolates, M and M's, and marshmallows. Well, now mm. I know what to get. Can't there go you wrong. go. I yeah, love chocolate. Cannot go wrong. Uh, okay, so it's time to talk to Patrice Soret from Goldmar Property Management uh, about what's happening in the market. Hey, Patrice, how are you? Patrice, hello. Hi. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. Sorry. How are you? <laughs> That's okay. How are you? Uh, what, what are we seeing happening right now? What's going on in uh, Windsor, Essex County, uh, the real, in the uh, rental world? Rentals. Yeah, rentals. Uh, we keep seeing increases in pricing. Um, I think, I mean, like the rest of Ontario, um, we are definitely seeing increases every time units come up. We're able to get a little bit more. Uh, bachelor apartments are... My last bachelor I rented was twelve fifty plus utilities. Oh, Stop my gosh. it. Yep. Yep. And very nice, like a very nice unit. Uh, you know, definitely in good size, but still Come on. Yep. Wh- yeah. where was this bachelor apartment for twelve fifty? Uh on uh, Peter Street over in the West End. Come on. Yep. Yep. So they're very um you know, the the trends are still going. <laughs> That's my kids are never moving out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So wow. the, the, and then that makes you know when that goes up, then that pushes up the one bedroom because there's always a spread between a bachelor and a one, right? right. So we're so seeing what, one bedroom uh, anywhere from fourteen, fifteen, and I have some that are actually sixteen, seventy-five. One bedroom. Wow. Yep. My Different goodness. Areas. But yeah, it's very. Uh, it, it never stops. Like the the trends keep going up. Um, it's unfortunate, like people even looking for room rentals now, you know, a room rent. So. Sorry, you cut out there. Room rental goes for how much? Sorry. At, uh, room rentals. Yeah. Uh, 750, 800. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So there's no huh. real cheap entry point anymore. Three right? kids. Like, yeah. <laughs> Joyce is doing the math. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking forever. of just turning our basement all into doors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. f- f- what are you seeing from the landlord-tenant board side right now? Are things getting better, or is no. it just the same? No. Oh. It's the same. And it makes no sense. Like, we, we get some that we file for now, and we might get a hearing in April, and we think, oh, that's great. You know, that's only four months. That's, that's great. pretty good. But then we have other ones that we filed back in the summer, and we still don't have a date for. So there's still no rhyme or reason to it. There's no organization to it. There's no way to ex- we anticipate what kind of date we're looking at. It's really, we just throw it in there and it's just a mixing pot. We get it back and we're like, okay, well, this one goes first, which makes no sense. Um, there's just no, yeah, no improvement I, really. I, mean, I don't. Less than a year, but it's not not any better. Well, um, you know, people have heard me talk about my uh, my apartment that uh, tenant was was uh, in arrears about yep. just shy of sixteen thousand yep. uh, dollars. The good news is we are garnishing and we're getting about sixty dollars a month right now. <laughs> yeah. So that would be cut up by twenty eighty. <laughs> when your kids move out, you'll be yeah. you'll be paid. Ah. Oh, it's something, man. <laughs> you know, but I, I can understand how people go bankrupt because, you know, yeah. they've got a, you know, most landlords are mom pop landlords. They have one unit, two units, um, yeah. and that can destroy people's lives, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And the bank doesn't care if your tenant's not paying, right? They still no, of want course their not. mortgage payment. The city yeah. still wants their taxes. The utilities still want their utility payments. So it's really up to the landlord. And then they're paying for their own residence plus paying a mortgage for someone to live free. Um, have you heard any more about the uh, pilot project for Wards 1 and 2? I haven't heard that they were supposed to have something in November. It was supposed to be November 27th, but now it's it's Monday, December 4th. Oh, it's okay. Oh, gotcha. okay. That yeah. makes sense. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So we're waiting. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's yep. going to be interesting. I, I'm, uh, I'm anxious to hear what point, happens yeah. there. Yep. Because, Jeez. you know, if there are affordable units still left and people live in them, they're in those areas in the basement. Right? Basement yeah. units that are going to not pass this licensing for sure. So this, that's, a, that's a perfect example of our, our prices for rentals are already gone crazy, have already gone crazy. Now you have this pilot project in wards one and two. If it goes forward, you know, it, it's, it's going to knock out a whole bunch of units mm -hmm. and right. make it even more difficult. Exactly. exactly. Oh. And it's going to displace all these people that aren't going to be able to go back to the market. Wow. Yeah. That's very sad. Very sad. Yeah. yeah. Um, any, anything else you're seeing out there that you want to bring up while we have another 30 uh, seconds here? Yeah, not, I mean, nothing really, you know, other than the pricing going up and, and not to discourage people, you know, it's certainly worth, you know, checking out people's websites, look on Facebook, you know, you might get lucky and you might get owners. We have a couple owners that are, you know, they're being more, I guess, um, not lenient, not holding back. Yeah. Just like with their, you know, it's, it's more important to get a good tenant than to get that extra hundred dollars. So we still have some people like that that are still having their rentals out there and at a decent rent. So it's not to discourage renters. You know, there are still some out there. You have to just keep checking constantly on Facebook Marketplace or wherever you prefer to look for rentals. Um, and hopefully, you know, you can find one that's in your budget. A lot of people are getting roommates, you know, where we went away from roommates, especially during COVID. People didn't want to live with other people, right? Um, yeah. Now people are having to take roommates again. So sharing a one-bedroom even, right? Not ideal, but that's how they're affording it. Well, a bachelor apartment, you were telling me 1200 bucks for a bachelor apartment. Yeah. My goodness. Right. Like, yep. wow. So, okay. Yeah. Well, always, always great advice, Patrice. Uh, we'll talk to you again uh, in the okay. new year, I think, by this point. And yeah, uh, so. if anyone has any questions, how do they reach out? They can reach us at the office, 519-252-5010 or on our website at goldmar.ca. Always great to have you on. Thank you. Bye, Thank Patrice. You. Thanks, Patrice. Uh, Patrice Surrett, by owner of uh, Goldmar Property Management. That's just, that's wild. That is wild. 1250 bucks for a bachelor apartment that they just rented. That's, I, no words. I'm yeah. just turning my basement into a bunch of bedrooms now. Wow. $750 a door. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me do some math. How many up, doors exactly. can I fit down? I'm like, good, pay the mortgage. In. I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, again, it's, it's not just, it's, it's, we're seeing the, the pressure from every angle, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in the economy right now. So yep. housing is definitely there. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Uh, we're having some, some issues and I'm not sure it's going to ease up anytime soon. So the best part is having trust to put into place so we can act accordingly with yes. the market the way it's turning. So good way to, there, there you go. go. Yes. Good thinking, Aaron. I'm trying. Good thinking. <laughs> okay, that's it for today, folks. Again, if you are looking to make a move, give the Dan Gemma's team a call, 519-566-5565. Find us online at dangemmas.com. A reminder to pop by the uh, winter market in Amherstburg, right in the back of our office uh, in the parking lot there, about uh, 30 vendors, uh, till 8 o'clock tonight, right next to the Panteria. Joyce and Aaron, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Pleasure. Go Wings. Go, go Wings. Oh, boy. <laughs> Go Leafs. Uh, Joyce, you're back with me tomorrow? I am. Yes. Perfect. Well, uh, uh, Maybe I'll join you too. Oh, well, I'll see if I'll let you. I'll see. I'll see how tonight goes. All right, everybody. Have a good day. We'll see you all tomorrow. Noon to one right here on the Dan Gemma's Real Estate Show.